So I've been having a really rough time with executive functioning recently and getting things done and being productive. Um, like I'm autistic, I have problems with this almost all of the time, but it's really been getting really, really bad recently. Um, and it's okay, I'm at the point where I can still do like the bare basic stuff I need to do to live. Uh, like go to work and eat and that kind of thing but like actual tasks I'm just not doing anything uh, so I've decided that from tomorrow for a week I'm gonna do a dopamine detox I'm calling it a dopamine detox because that's what people call it basically you cut out um, the bad things that give you dopamine um, so for me that's gonna be social media no social media for me, except for to post, uh, and that's it. I'm not gonna play video games as much. The only, really the only one that I'm gonna try and cut down on is Overwatch, because we tend to play like hours and hours and hours of that at a time. So cut down on that. Uh, but the main thing is no social media. And then in replacing that with good dopamine uh, tasks. So reading, uh, going on a walk, exercising, um, yeah, you also get rid of no binge, no binge watching, uh, TV shows or anything, movies are fine, and our one TV show that we watch with dinner, I think is fine, I'm calling it a dopamine detox, because that's what people call it, it's kind of been debunked, you can't detox from dopamine, you're always going to produce dopamine, it's, a part of our body and uh, the chemical processes. It's just, it's always going to be there. You can't detox from it. But you can reduce certain behaviours and see a positive effect. So even though the idea of a dopamine detox has kind of been debunked, it's what I'm calling it because it's it's what it's generally known as. Um, more for me, it's just getting off social media for a week and trying to be a little bit more productive in ways that I want to be, hopefully. I've had a nice evening tonight. I sat after dinner and played 
some Tears of the Kingdom and had some ice cream. Had a nice shower. And then tomorrow, we'll see. I've blocked, I put the like time limiters on all of my social media on my phone. So from tomorrow, none of it. Honestly, TikTok is the big one. Um, because in terms of dopamine, that thing is just a slot machine. It's, I mean, we all know it's worse than like any other social media in terms of like the algorithm and how it just keeps you watching. Short form content is just uh, screwing with our minds. And I think, especially because I'm autistic, I'm very prone to getting sucked into things like that and then having my executive functioning just go out the window. So hopefully this fixes it a little bit. And I'm going to check in every day and see if it improves. <laughs> Jensen, we're gonna take him to the groom room with pets at home. He's gonna get a haircut. He's been such a good boy on the drive over. Just runs up to the car, says, Can I get in, please? I lift him up, he sits down. He's a bit unsure. I tell him, You need to lie down, and then he just lies down. And he's like this the whole drive. Such a good boy. He's a bit warm, so I've had the aircon up really high for him. Okay, we're gonna go in now. just dropped off Jensen for his uh, grooming appointment. <laughs> he seemed really nervous, even though he's done it a bunch of times. He was just shaky a little bit. He needed lots of cuddles, but he seemed very happy with the, the lady that was going to groom him. So we have to tell them to be careful now because he has thyroid cancer. So he has lumps around his neck and behind his ear. So they really need to be careful when uh, trimming around those areas because he's really sensitive he doesn't like people touching them so hopefully they're gentle with him and comes out a little bit more comfortable because it is so hot and he's just so fluffy so it really was uh, a necessary haircut so yesterday was my first day of doing this um, dopamine detox challenge uh, it was interesting it was really interesting. So I got a lot of stuff done yesterday, which is great. Um, and I found I just wasn't on my phone, like, at all. Because, honestly, when you take away social media, there's very little left that I use my phone for. Uh, so I wasn't on it, like, at all, which was a nice change. Um, I got a lot done. But I found that at about, I don't know, mid-afternoon... I just was, I was so tired and I was just sort of lying there. Normally when that happens in my day and I get really tired and sort of burnt out and I can't really do anything else, I'll sort of lie in bed, but I'm on my phone and I'm doing stuff. But because I couldn't do that, I was just sort of lying there. And it really made me sit with how I felt and how tired I am and how I really just couldn't do anything else. I couldn't do any other tasks until I got a little bit of energy back. And I found that really interesting. It was interesting to have to sit with that feeling rather than kind of distract myself. Normally I'll be sat on my phone and part of me is like, oh God, I'm procrastinating. I'm just sitting on my phone. I'm not doing anything. Um, I kind of felt guilty and I kind of blamed myself. Like it was my fault for being on my phone and that's the reason. But yesterday kind of showed me that I have those dips in my day when I can't do anything and I just need to rest. And it's not due to my phone. It's not because I'm procrastinating. I just need to stop. 
and it kind of showed me that I don't need to feel guilty about that. Normally I use my phone to kind of numb myself and scroll through things whilst I'm waiting for that energy to come back and that made me feel really guilty like it's my fault um, or like I'm doing it to myself but yesterday really showed me that that's not the case. I'm autistic and often I find myself feeling really guilty and down on myself for not being able to do seemingly as much as other people without getting burnt out and tired and needing to rest. Autistics, we tend to need to rest more often uh, between tasks, um, otherwise we get burnt out quite easily. And I used to feel really, I still do sometimes feel really guilty about that and like there's something wrong with me and I should just be able to do it. Um, and I think yesterday showed me that I don't need to feel guilty. It is a necessity for me to rest like that. And I still had a really productive day, even though I had that rest. Um, and I was a couple hours where I just sort of existed and did absolutely nothing other than just sort of lying there. Uh, and that's okay, I don't need to feel guilty about that. So if anything, that's one good thing that's come from this already. So I'm excited to see what happens as the day goes on. I kind of hoped that I'd be doing more um, art stuff once I stopped doing stuff on my phone so much and like doing all these things that keep it my attention span for so long, keep my attention, but so far, I'm just kind of catching up on tasks that I haven't been able to do in a while um, and getting a lot of stuff done, which is fine, honestly. Um, it's kind of needed. Um, and it makes me feel good to have some of this stuff done. Okay. So Jensen's going to be at the groomers for another hour or so. So I'm going to go next door to the Starbucks and treat myself to an iced coffee because it's so hot today. And I brought my book with me, and I'm just going to sit and read my book. That's the other thing. Yesterday, I found myself reading a lot more. Um, just because there was certain times in the day where I had nothing to do, so instead I read, and it was just really nice. Reaching for a book instead of reaching for my phone. Okay, let's go. Because you've been such a good boy, I got you a pup cup as a treaty. Need a little? Oh, you don't want it. Don't want it. Yeah. Want to try? <laughs> You're telling me I got a pup cup and you don't even want it. You don't. <laughs> you don't want your pup cup. It's whipped cream. No. Oh my god. The only dog in the world that doesn't want a pup cup. You know they charge me 60p for that. It is whipped cream. <laughs> well you look great. Yeah. Oh what a good boy. You're happy now. Yeah. Should we go home? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's enough, Missy. You need a little bit, because otherwise you tell me what I find. I 
این جمع So it's Wednesday. Uh, I don't think I've really talked to camera in a little bit. So it's been a couple of days. Uh, I'm still doing the low dopamine or dopamine detox, whatever you want to call it. Um, no social media. It's going well, actually. I was really trying to, like I said, use the time that I have to, instead of being on social media to be productive whilst also trying to be kind to myself and let myself rest. Um, and I really wanted to try and do some art stuff with this time. And I'll be honest, I haven't really drawn much in a while. So when I kind of sat down to, to draw and to make something, it was really, really tough to kind of do anything or get myself to feel motivated or even think of anything to draw. It was just really, really just art blocked uh, and it was really frustrating. I hate that feeling so much and it took me, I'd say a couple days and quite a lot of attempts before I really got through it. Um, but there's nothing quite as satisfying as when you do get through it and you kind of actually start to make something and you're drawing again and it's just really satisfying. I'll like show maybe some of the stuff that I've been working on. I've been working my digital sketchbook a lot because I'm trying to um, really kind of finesse my process for how I want that to function and how I want to use it. Um, so that's been really nice. But yeah, I guess it's nearly been a week since I started, but I'm gonna keep trying to just continue it and see how well that goes. Uh, I'm gonna start from sort of now on, be more lenient with myself and let myself go on social media and TikTok and Instagram and all the kind of things. Um, but just being mindful of why I'm doing it. If there's even a reason why I'm clicking the app or why I want to go on there. Is it to post something? Is it to look for like a friend's content? Is it to look at something particular or is it just for no reason and to distract myself? Um, and hopefully that'll help. Uh, right now I need to go do the food shop. And it, it's so hot at the minute. We're going through like a little heat wave in the UK and I just, it's unbearable. And my hair is really long and gross and the cut isn't good anymore. I just, mm, I need a haircut, so, but I kind of need like a fresh start. Usually I cut my own hair, but I kind of need a fresh start on it. So I think I might book in for an actual haircut this week. Uh, go nice and short so I'm comfortable for the heat. Got the water, all the plants out on the balcony. Oh, so potatoes growing in here, which I've never grown any vegetables other than strawberries, which I guess are fruits, but I haven't grown any, any edible plants before. So I'm a little, you know, worried about this, but it's fine. And then here in this pot are wildflowers, which I'm hoping will attract some bees. And then these two are broccoli, and I need to pot them up into bigger pots soon. Kieran's mum gave me these. Apparently she thinks they might be kale, uh, which is great because we just started eating kale. I don't know what they are, to be honest. We have some dying ivy, more dying ivy. It, they were doing great, but honestly with the heat wave now, it's just too hot and the sun is too direct really here for them. Uh, but they served well through the winter and autumn last year, so, you know, I can't be too mad at them. And then we have some more wildflowers because I had more seeds, so I just threw them in here and some lavender that is doing surprisingly well considering it kind of died last year. And then of course, and of course we have the strawberries, which are now reddening up 
in the heat. I don't actually like strawberries to eat. I think they're just too cute. I don't like the texture of them to eat though, but I love growing them. So I think probably the birds that visit will eat them, which I'm fine with. Yeah. <laughs> 